Okay, I've got my uh, little nut cracking station here. I promised I'd show you guys how I do that. Uh, this is a fresh one off the pile. It's uh, actually still curing over there, but uh, it's easy enough to show you now. There's still on the pointed end some areas of husk that are still there. That's what we call the round end. Here's one, a floater that's been cracked open. And when you uh, split the nut in half, you can see that across the short end of it, there's a main seam that you're used to seeing from folk art and things like that, little owl faces. The pointed end of the nut is at the rounded end of the shell. The area here that you can't scrub off, you can't scrub it off because it goes clear in. So um, this uh, kind of shows the anatomy of the nut to go one stage further. This is what the chamber looks like. Again, you can kind of see um, where the, the rounded lobe is actually doesn't reach the end of the uh, pointed end of the shell. Down at the bottom, down there. Okay, let's crack one open. I'm not going to use the pliers. Might have to use the nut pick and the pliers later. But um, what we use for this is nut scissors. This is a standard garden lopper. I got mine at Walmart for about 20 bucks. Got the sharp edge of the blade on the right. We see the seam that runs through the nut across the short end. Uh, perpendicular to that is where we're going to make the first cut. To split the nut in half, cut the nut in half in a way that actually we're just hugging the nut by putting the arms of this thing under our arms and pulling in. Grab onto it. If it doesn't go all the way, switch, roll it around and get to the other side. And you've got a nut now that's in two halves. Now it's not split this way, so it looks completely different. But what it does is usually expose the nut on one side and part of the nut on the other. These can easily be split into quarters then by taking it endwise and going one more cut to split this. Heard it crack. Didn't go all the way. Get these into quarters. Each one of these quarters is going to perfectly hold one of the little uh, nut quarters and it's only going to take one more cut on each of these to get them out. Make that cut about halfway through. You can see kind of where the nut changes geometry. Uh, near the pointed end, the rounded end is going to come out easier. The pointed end is what you usually have to dig for if it doesn't break right. Usually you just pull it apart after one cut and boom, there's your first quarter. Take the next quarter nutshell, get it in there. The trick is to get it so that you can actually apply pressure on it. It likes to slip around in there. Uh, don't worry about breaking and cutting your fingers. You're probably not going to do that because if you're holding the not loppers right, you're actually going to crush your chest first. So once you've got both halves, both the shell broken across the back, you can pull the nut out. Sometimes they take a little finesse. This one broke in my hand, so I might have bit it a little bit too hard, but uh, a few pieces there. So okay, we didn't get that quarter hole. That looks like the heart, the point. Take the second, or the third of the quarters. If I get it in the right, it's just going to pop open see the nut just gently wiggle it if you grab the nut right it actually has an oil in it that'll let you pull it out sometimes I broke that one being a little too aggressive if you catch the the breaking of the shell on just the right point it just seems to pull out but each of these nuts is individually made by the creator and so they each have their own 
personal little set of rules. But in general, you can deal with them that way. And voila, we have mostly a complete nut. There's three full quarters in there that are just right for putting in cookies. And I better eat these right away so nobody notices. Have a good one.